This is unbelievable. I literally, again, explained the whole thing, and now I have to do it again. This just... And you know what? One time you go through that pain, you think that you understand the next time to double check that you're recording. It's just, I don't learn. Um, okay, so we're talking about standardization. Why is it so important to standardize your data when you are using any sort of, not, okay, not any sort of models. For example, the ones that use Euclidean distance to show that if two data points are close to each other or if they have to categorize them in the same category, um, those are the one that is more prone to this problem, but generally it's a good idea when you have so much unit difference, it's a good idea to um, standardize your data. And I'm gonna show you why standardizing your data is very important. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can standardize your data in the pre-processing with Python. Okay, so imagine I have four people here. So I'm going to say person, and then this is one, this is two, three, and four. And then I'm going to have two features for these people. One is height, and I'm going to take the height in centimeter. And then the other one is weight, and I'm going to take the weight in grams. Okay, so the first person, the height of the first person is going to be 160 centimeter and the weight of this person is going to be 60,000 grams, which is 60 kilograms. One, two, three, four, five. Um, so yeah, that's that. And then I have a second person, which is going to be 200. The height is 200 centimeter and um, the weight is going to be 61,000, one, two, three, four, five, 61,000, which is 61 kilos, okay? Um, I can totally, I mean, you, if you know the centimeter and kilograms, you can totally say, whoa, this is off, but keep that in mind. Um, and then I'm gonna do another one, for example, 158 centimeter, and this one is going to be 62,000, okay? And then you are going to have another one, which is 163 centimeter, and I'm going to say this one is 66,000, okay? Now I'm looking at this data set from human point of view because I understand centimeters and grams. When I look at this, I'm gonna say, okay, um, this one is an outlier, okay? This one is clearly an outlier because you have 200 centimeter. These three people, if they stand beside each other and you don't really know their height and weight, they look very similar to each other. But if this person is going to stand beside these three people, you can totally see the difference because this person is 200 centimeter. You can very clearly see the difference. You won't be able to see that much difference between these three, okay? So from human point of view, I can totally say that this is an outlier. But then when machine is going to look at this, it's gonna say that no, that is not, a, not the outlier. This is the outlier. Why? These are very close to each other. I can see them very clearly. Why are you saying that one is an outlier? It's because Machine does not understand units, okay? It doesn't understand what you mean by centimeter. It doesn't understand what you mean by grams. So just look at these numbers and it says, this is 66,000, okay? This is 62,000, 61,000, 60,000. This is 66,000. This is bigger. This is the difference between these are much higher, but 200 with 160 is nothing. Compared to this 60,000, 200 and 160 is nothing. Because it doesn't, it doesn't care about the height anymore. Um, it just doesn't understand that the, it just doesn't give that much importance to height because the numbers are very, very small. Okay, so in order to make this easier, let's, um, let's not do this. Let's do, instead of uh, figuring out which one is an outlier, 
I'm going to make it easier so we don't need to do so much calculation. I'm going to say, okay, let's consider this as a set and let's consider this as another set, okay? Now, I want you to tell me um, which set, which these two, which one is more different from each other? Is these two, these two, if you consider person one and person two, are person one and person two close to each other, similar to each other, or is a three or four more similar to each other? When I'm looking from a human point of view, I'm going to say that these two people are closer to each other, are more similar to each other than these two. Okay, now let's do the calculation and we're going to use Euclidean distance to see um, how close these data points are to each other. So for the first one, when I'm taking Euclidean distance, that's going to be 160 minus 200 to the power of 2 plus um, 60,000 minus 61,000 um, to the power of 2. So this is basically 1,000.8. This turned into nothing. This is just 0 0.8. This is just 1,000 that comes from here. Okay, so the whole, the whole calculation just happened with weight, right? And this is 1,000, okay? Keep that in mind. Even though this, the weight difference is very small, they won't even be able to tell the, I mean, the height is much more different, so you would be able to tell by the eye. So you can tell the height difference by the eye, but um, with your eye, but uh, then for weight, you can't, I mean, if they were the same height, you wouldn't be able to tell that. You could just tell that what if, if you actually weigh them. Um, so now let's look at the, let's not get distracted. This is the first calculation. For the second calculation, I have uh, 158 minus 163 to the power of 2 plus um, 62,000 minus 66,000 to the power of 2. But the final answer is going to be 4,000.003. This is the final answer, okay? So it is complete, like this one is completely neglected, but it's fine, okay? But this one, it doesn't make that much difference. You can see a little bit of difference between height, but not really that much. Um, not as much as this. So, but let's look at the answer. This came out to be 4,000. This one is 1,000. Very clearly, your machine assumed that these two are farther away than those two first one, okay? But we clearly know that the machine is very wrong. Why did this happen? Because of the units, okay? Machine doesn't understand the units. When it's looking at the numbers, it's gonna say these numbers are bigger, so I'm gonna ignore these because the difference between these does not matter at all in the scale of difference between these. So this is why you have to standardize your this is why you have to standardize your data.